Hello friends, my name is Dr. Tarpan Shah. Today I am going to discuss with you all regarding the teaching aids. First, I would like to put one quotation which I believe and like. It is, tell me, I forget, show me, I remember, involve me, I understand. It is a Chinese proverb which is very much applicable to the education field. The most important teaching aids in the classroom is teacher and black or the white book. Very important. Let us see the types of teaching aids. There are three main types of teaching aids, visual, audio and audio visual. Let's see the first one, visual. Visual aids are using basically the sense of vision. It includes actual object, chart, maps, flashcards, pictures, whiteboards, flip charts, models, etc. See the second one, audio. It involves sense of hearing. Audio aids are common teaching tool which includes classroom stereo system, individual headsets, etc. And the third one, audio as well as vi uh, visual. Uh, audio and visual aids are multi-sensory material which, you, which we use and it can, be produce, it can be used to produce, distribute and used as a planned component of education program. These aids can have a great impact on teaching. It involves the sense of vision as well as hearing and teachers can uh, use instructional or documentary videos to enhance the specific subject or a topic. It usually requires television, digital video player, etc. to use it. Now let us discuss the uh, teaching through the non-projected visual aids. So there are basically six in number, white or a blackboard, posters, charts, specimen, models and flashcards. Let's see one by one. The first one is black or a whiteboard. As I said, it is one of the very important teaching aid. Uh, it was used widely, uh, widely in uh, earlier days of uh, for the teaching, and even it is used today as well. But nowadays, more than black, a whiteboard is in a use. And you can write it down, draw a flowchart, images, stick diagram, tables, etc. On a black or a white. The advantage of this too is electricity is not required, it is easy to use and darkening of the room is not required, maintenance is minimal and available at a reasonable cost. Okay, So most commonly you will find this everywhere. Second is posters. Posters it includes both text, text and graphical matter. Posters should be designed to be informative and eye catching. These are the two important points. It should be informative and it should be eye-catching. In classrooms, we can keep a general poster, okay, like how to do the hand wash or how to maintain the safety in a lab or a specific to the course for which you are teaching. It can be your research poster as well. It is made and presented to promote the research. It can be presented in a conference to show your research work. Only disadvantage that some of the research posters okay, doesn't undergo the peer review before the presentation. The next one is your charts, okay, the pictures, graphics, pie, table or tree. Okay, any type of charts can be prepared and presented. Chart is a way to present and show the educational material in a classroom or the other place. Okay, so this can also be make use. So for example, tables, charts and graphs you can see in this image. The next one is your specimens or the models. Now specimens and model, you can show this to the student. It can be a static or a dynamic model. You can even ask students to make it under your guidance. Okay, you can see uh, images of different specimens, which is commercially available. Students can prepare under your guidance okay etc very important point which i like is the flashcards okay because it is very simple and versatile resource for teaching we can buy them we can make them and we can ask the students to make it it is very uh, very much visually stimulating material and it enhances the learning so these are the uh, different uh, flashcards you can see uh, many of them it is available ready made and uh, others we can make it as well okay let's see the projected visual aids okay the pictures or the videos shown upon on screen by some types of devices 
so it can be your overhead projectors or it can be your lcd uh, panels etc so let us see the overhead projectors in a older time this was widely used widely used it is an important electronic teaching aid machine projects the images from the transparency so you can write it down you can draw something on a transparency and which can be you know seen on a large screen and uh, it will be easy for the pe uh, people who is gathered in a, a large number so they can see this on a screen okay, nowadays it has been replaced by the other gadgets like your lcd panels okay so it is an important electronic uh, teaching aid the machine projects images from the transparency it does not need any darkening of the room teacher can face both the students and uh, projection of this and communicate and images can be shown as well okay the lcd panels which is commonly used okay uh, in that we have to prepare the proper ppt and we have to do the presentation images videos gif files animations etc can be added uh, can be added into the ppt slides and it can be shown on a larger screen to the larger populations the very advanced to this one which is commonly used in the uh, schools that is your smart board which is most recently you know used audio visual uh, sorry visual aids the system is easy to use and it is a touch sensitive and these are the images of the smart boards here we can <coughs> with the touch uh, change the screen we can zoom in zoom okay we can make the images zoom in and out like a big and a small we can we can go to the next relation one by one etc now there are around 10 to 11 importance of using the teaching aids in the teaching if we make use of the teaching aids rather than just lecturing okay what will happen uh, this teaching aids makes the lesson more enjoyable clear and comprehensible for the students teaching aids can be used at all levels of learning okay and it will en enrich the vocabulary and the knowledge it is effective to increase the students memory because you are using multiple senses to teach them okay they are using it to learn it now uh, what they learn with the help of this aids it Im imprints in their mind it can facilitate the better understanding of the subject which discourages the act of confusion the more use of supportive materials it increases the learning activities and the chances of success for the students effective because it makes the whole process simple productive and enrich the learning activities it provides basically a natural learning atmosphere and help them to actively involve in the learning and teaching and they can experience the entire process it enables the students to express their concepts effectively and teaching aids makes the classroom live and active and avoid the dullness because of involvement of every student it saves the time from a long and boring explanatory class and helps the students to understand the complex subjects easily so what we can do is we can the material which we have prepared to present okay or to teach that we can uh, present it with the help of the audio aids visual aids or audio visual aids and we can divide our topic into the multiple subtopics say 60 minutes of lectures we are going to take divide it into the uh, you know six parts so first 10 minutes what you are going to speak next 10 minutes what you are going to do or what you are going to ask the students to do in that way you form your entire lecture in such a way that okay you will be able to uh, gain the attention of the students you will be able to make them concentrate while uh, you are teaching and you are not only just you know uh, communicating from one side you are involving them so that their understanding will improve okay so this is what about the teaching aids i hope this video will be helpful to you thank you for watching the video and be in touch with me thank you